could that be a no ball? Will they have a look at it? What was the height like? It's only a two. It's only two, but it's two runs. Nah. I'm looking for things, Tom. I'm seeing ghosts here now. I'm going to say, it'd have to be about three foot two for that to be a no ball. Okay. A serious game on here. 20 required off 11 balls. Rabrios. The most senior bowler in this attack with the ball in hand. Oh, well bowled. Clever bowling. Change of pace. That last over was such a change in the game. It was just unbelievable. This is what happened. First ball was a, a bouncer. A magnificent shot over extra cover. The little inside edge for four. And that was, for me, one of the shots of the day. And it's a cool game, another one. And of course, there was some wides and no balls in there. Tate can't believe it. But it's still on you. Oh, well bowled. Well bowled right up into the block hole. That's where you need to be. He's got to get Papara down that end. Spot on. Absolutely spot on. He's got to recognise that Bopara is running hot here. Just push that into cover. Don't worry about anything more, but just get bat on ball, into cover and run. He's loving the contest. Oh, again. This is when class really steps up. So right, so right, and so near yet so far. Problem is, one more ball. Yeah. There's only one, two balls left now. You don't want Papara to get a get on strike now and get a one. Only two off the over. Needs a boundary desperately now. Oh, that'll be wide, wide. Looking for that wide Yorker, just getting a little bit too generous. <sighs> it's been a great over, despite the wide, let's be honest. We really had to get Papara on strike early on. That was critical. And when I think about the two they took, there was a chance. They gambled by taking the two early on. They really only needed to take one. And Robert the Pirate, if there was a change in this game, it was right there. The first ball of that last this over. Oh, he's got hold of this. Is it enough for a six? It is. Wonderful strike. That's made up for a couple of dot balls. It certainly has. The 102nd six. Definitely six, definitely six. That takes it down to 13 off seven. Let's just spare a thought for the person that's got to bowl the last over. Majgar is the one that's got one over left. Just checking the third umpire is just checking that uh, that went over it didn't just go over it went over by about eight feet it's a convincing six Tambir two sixes to his name two fours 23 off 16 he's done a very good job in partnership with Bopara and 61 partnership of 28 balls of bowling to finish the over a big wicket a champion bowler 170 for seven otherwise we're into super over where's your money tom this is the last wicket a beautiful piece of bowling commonly known as nutmeg between the legs there it is leg stump beautiful piece of bowling just Right on target, that Yorker on the leg stump. 
I'm backing the batting side. In this situation, you've got a bowler that hasn't bowled a ball in the tournament. Yes, he would have been bowling the nets. Yes, he's got some experience. But no, he doesn't bowl all the time. And Robert Bapara is sitting on 59 of 30. You're right. You're going that way? Absolutely. Planning side? Okay, Absolutely. fasten your seat belts. Here it comes. He's got a strong leg side field. Oh, that's going to be six of them. That is going to be six of them. Ravi Bopara has come to town. Oh, my word. It's come alive in the PSL. You better believe it. Call you a good thing, Bopara. This is an outstanding cricket shot. Once again, he's hit two sixes over cover now, and this one is equally as good as the one before. And don't they know it? Mickey Arthur there in the background, the coach. Oh, again, this could be another boundary. Going to be running hard. Yes, they'll pick up two. So eight off the first two balls. Wow, Ravi Bapara. This is something to experience, to see. Shahid Afridi rubs the head. It was so close to going for a boundary. Look at that. What's Darren Sammy thinking? What am I going to bowl? York or slower ball? What's my best option? He hasn't had a ball in his hand for a long time. Clubbed. This could be out. It could be out. It is. Sammy has struck. Is this the turning point of the match? Oh, my word. Sit down, folks. It's not over. Look at this. Ravi Papara is leaving. He's going to walk off. There he goes. What an innings. 67 on 33. But he hasn't seen it through. 178. Delivery is left. He's only got five runs. The Kings require to win. Club down the ground. They're going to look for two. They're going to have to be extra quick, but they're not going to make it. this stage you've just got to take that risk between the wickets all needed and that's the all important catch oh right so now we have four in two balls and an inside edge would do the trick And Afridi's just rallying his troops, getting that field right, getting the angles right, getting the right people in the right positions. So much to think about. Well, what's the bowler going to bowl? Is he going to bowl an off-pace delivery, a slower ball? If it's a slower ball, it changes the direction of the field. He's going to bowl a full Yorker. Again, that's going to change a few things around. He needs to communicate with his captain. To know exactly what ball you're bowling so you can get the field right. <laughs> I love the way Darren Sammy's holding his mouth, holding his hand over his mouth so nobody can hear it. Do you think he's at the US Open or something or Wimbledon? Because that's what they do in the doubles, don't they, in the tennis. Chad Free, you know, is the kind of guy who just says, right, I'm backing you, you go for it. a time to learn about the game and to learn the pressures and stresses for the two young men in there now. This is it. in the mid and it's a run out. So Sammy has got all left here. Excellent work from behind the stumps. Number three, it was a hit of a ball, to be honest. It was just there. Um, Sam Amir goes for one, 179. Darren Sammy just getting his field right with his skipper, a 3D, and this is the last to go, run out. Yeah, he missed it. He, it was there to hit, really. Who's more stressed? That's one of the bowler. Equally, equally.
equally stressed. I think that the big difference is that Darren Sammy's got a world of experience under pressure in many different situations, so he'd be relatively calm with his thinking. It's his execution of the delivery is where it's going to count. He's got two men behind Square on the leg side in the ring. He's got a short third man. He's got to get this field right. He's coming around the wicket to the left-hander. Muhammad Amir is on strike. What can he do? There it is. Victory for Zalmi. Darren Sammy delivers under pressure. Oh, wow. What can you say? Just look, look what's happening. Just look at that. That'll tell you what it means to win. Try and tell me it doesn't matter. Of course it matters. Every ball, every win, every contest matters. And Zalmir have delivered a three-run victory here in a terrific game. Spare a thought for Ravi Bopara. Wonderful innings to give the Kings some sort of hope. At the end, you could argue that they should have got over the line.